So we start out dating the same pool of men, the 32 men, um, and then... Gabby and Rachel are shedding light on their new season as Bachelorettes as they begin their press tour. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Shared News. We've got some updates on how this season is going to go as Gabby and Rachel are sharing little tits and pieces about the season during a Good Morning America interview. We're gonna show some clips and react. So before we get into that, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here so you are always up to date on all things Bachelor Nation. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality, with Allison Van Dam and Blakely McKinney. Q, and I gotta know how you guys are feeling going into this season. Are you really vibing with the friendship or are you feeling more connected to Gabby or Rachel specifically? I don't know because I feel like I might be more similar to Rachel. So maybe I'm doing more of like an opposites attract thing with Gabby where I think she could be like a really fun friend to have. But I think I could see myself being friends with both of them. And I am really excited for this season. We talked about this yesterday, Zach, like we've had a nice break. We have this whole new idea of two bachelorettes. We have the cruise ship element. It's going to be crazy. And it's wild that it's literally happening on Monday. I feel like these last few weeks have been going so <laughs> fast and suddenly it's here. I know. I feel like they were just crying on the stairs during Clayton season. Like, how has that much time already flown? But I am like 100% vibing with this friendship. I love the two of them together. I think that they are so cute and they're just happy and I love them. And I honestly, I, I mean, I could be wrong, Zach, but I feel like this is the most press we've gotten from a lead before the show airs. Like, I don't remember ever seeing a lead this much before the show even aired. Like, aren't they usually in hiding? You know, I kind of think that's because there's been such a long break. So I think they might be trying to, mm. like, overdo the trailers and the pictures and the teasers. Like, they've had, like, four promo shoots. Like, I can only remember Katie Thurston yeah. having one, and her and her skirt was backwards. Like, Gabby and Rachel did the photo <laughs> shoot in Greece um, with, like, the beautiful mm -hmm. yellow and blue. They did the milkshake one with the, um, the green dresses. Yep, the There's green a few dresses. others. Like, they're just, like, everywhere. And I think people are really loving the dynamic of them as best friends. Like, we were kind of talking about like who we relate to more, but it's like, I just relate to both of them. Like their friendship, their energy is yeah. so aligned and they're so like just classy and beautiful and infectious. I just want to squish both of their cheeks like so bad. Are, are Is anyone having a girl crush here on Rachel or Gabby? We talked a little bit about this before we started filming Blakely. Why don't you go first? Why don't you share what happened? Um, okay, sure. I asked Zach if he weren't <laughs> gay, who he'd be going after. Gabby or Rachel, because if you're following Zach on Instagram, he's always asking his followers, you know, whose outfit are you liking more? So it just kind of spawned the thought, like, you know, if I was a man, whose outfit would I be going for? So I wanted a male's perspective, even though you're gay, Zach. Uh, just I'm just too gay <laughs> to answer that question. I couldn't imagine dating either of them. But I also would like turn straight for both of them because they're both so perfect. Hmm. Likely, do you have an opinion on this question that you asked me? Do you have a girl crush on either of them or any bachelorettes <laughs> in the past? Oh, any bachelorettes? I don't know. If we're saying between the two of them, I'll go with Gabby. I just think she's so bubbly and cute and I love her personality. I love them both, but I'll go with Gabby. Yeah, I, I would date... Gabby, I think over Rachel, because like I said before, I think Rachel and I are too similar. Like it just would it would yeah. be would be too much of the same person. And I think I would need Gabby to like spice up my life a little bit. Me and, yeah, and Rachel, Rachel would, would just be crying all together all the time. <laughs> well, I that would pick terrible. Rachel. I'm going to pick Rachel. She deserves some love. I actually think me and Gabby are pretty similar um, with the way our minds work. Um, we're both dingbats. We both love our grandfather. Mm. So I'm, I feel like me and Gabby would be friends, but me and Rachel could really spark a fabulous romance, but you might see me pop up on the season. So stay tuned. Um, mm. But let's take a look at our first clip. We are here to review the clips of their Good Morning America interview this morning. Twist? How, really? How does this work? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we are each on our own journeys. Uh -huh. um, so we start out dating the same pool of men, the 32 men. Okay. Um, and then I feel like the story kind of tells itself once you mm -hmm. tune in July 11. Okay. So she says the story kind of tells itself 
but she did confirm that they start off dating the same group of guys. So we have that insight. Allison, when do you think is an appropriate time? I know we've kind of talked about this, but when do you think is an appropriate time for the guys to decide if they're going to go forward with Rachel or Gabby? Oh, that's difficult. Um, Maybe like week four, three or four, I would say. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's adequate yeah. time to kind of know. And it's still going to be like a leap of faith, but you would at least have like a good idea. Maybe have gotten to know both of them a little better. Maybe they're really going to be doing like a lot of like duo group dates at the beginning. So everyone can have a lot of time with each person. Who knows? But then maybe later in the season, it's a lot more of just one or the other. But yeah, I don't know, because it's difficult to know, like, where's the spark versus what can build. So and I think that's why we've seen in other clips people changing their minds and there being miscommunication. So I wish Gabby would have given us like a little bit more meat. That was a very like <laughs> HR PR approved of response. But I'm sure they gave her very strict instructions not to ruin anything. Mm -hmm. And she did a really, yeah. really good job. I kind of agree with like the th week three or four is like a good week um, to kind of decide. But I also feel like what if they're what if the guy's feeling both of them? Because Rachel and Gabby both dated Clayton for a while. And, you know, that was at the same time. But Blakely, let me ask you this, though. How would you feel about a guy who came in on night one and was like, I'm here for Gabby? Point blank, period. Do you think that's like too direct or do you like or do you think it's a guy who knows what he wants because it's like is he still going to give Rachel a chance is that not fair so what do you think about guys who are going to come in with that mindset I mean honestly when you first ask Allison the question I think that a lot of men are going to come in knowing who who they want frankly I think Gabby and Rachel are very different people I mean not only in the way that they look but the way that they speak and their humor I'm sure they have a lot of similarities but they also have a lot of differences and so I think that a lot of men will actually come in knowing that they want one or the other. And I only feel like there will be a few who are in between. I could be totally off with that thought process, but I sort of think people know if they watch the show, they're going to have somebody that they may be more inclined or more connected with, or that's more of their, you know, look that they go for. You know, everybody has a certain type. So I sort of think that that's how a lot of the men are actually going to come in. Now, I'm sure most of them are going to, you know, you got to keep an open mind to for the journey to figure out who's the right one for you. But I think a lot of them will have an inclination almost right off the bat is my thought. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think there's guys who know exactly what they want. And I think there's guys who are wishy-washy. And we've seen that on the show before. And I'm sure there's going to be a few um, fake guys that are like really into Gabby Always. or what, like whatever. And then once Gabby rejects them, they're going to be like, oh, well, I'm actually into Rachel just so they can stay on the show. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we ran into that a few times. But it's not only the guys who are choosing. It is Rachel and Gabby who are choosing as well. And I'm kind of curious to see what would happen if they both start falling for the same guy. So let's take a look at this next clip. I think Rachel and I, we do. We have <laughs> such a good friendship um, and we have great communication. Of course, this experience just brought us so close together and we would never want to jeopardize our friendship. So kind of having that foundation and respect for each other, um, you know, no man would stand in our way. Yeah. But can you... Allison, I've seen a theory online that they end up together as lovers, as lesbian lovers. What are the chances of that happening? Because there is a lot of people who really believe that. So I was going to say that earlier when we were talking as a group of if they got engaged or if they didn't get engaged on the season, my mm. first thought was we were talking about the two of them together. I forgot that there was men involved. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't know. Do they get engaged or do they not? Like, so, I mean, who knows? I'm open to it. Like, we need more diversity on screen in terms of, you know, everything from who's on there to what kind of love stories we're telling. So I would be all for it. And what a plot twist that would be if they both picked out a Neil Lane <laughs> ring for each other. <laughs> I'm kind of here for it. I wouldn't be mad about it. Obviously, it's probably not going to happen. They're definitely best friends. Now, Blakely, talk to me about this because we saw them navigate their heartbreak and dating Clayton. They fell in love with Clayton. It didn't okay. get in between their friendship. But now there's an added layer where they're in control. They're in the driver's seat. What do you think the differences are and how would they handle that? The differences are from being in the driver's seat versus how they were in Clayton season. Yeah, with falling in love with the same guy because they could do that this season, but now they're in control versus on Clayton yeah. season. There was only one guy they were falling in love with. 
I mean, I think that they've said it, you know, just like what Gabby said, that they are in communication was number one for them to make sure that they were going in and making sure that they were being very open with one another and, you know, talking with one another about who they liked and what they were feeling. And like, I mean, it really is like a relationship, especially when you're in a situation like this, like communication, you almost have to be over the top because there is that chance that they fall in love with the same guy. Whereas it's different because when they went on Clayton season, they obviously knew they knew the rules. They knew what was going on. They knew that they were going after the same man. You know, you kind of go in that with that mindset. This is obviously a completely different switch. It's not what you think of when you become a lead because you don't have to fight for one man's attention. Everybody else is fighting for yours. So I think that that's going to be the biggest difference. But again, we saw them navigate a similar situation already. They both, you know, loved, liked, felt deeply however they felt about Clayton. They were both in that situation. They were both really hurt after Clayton broke up with the two of them. Um, and they clearly navigated those waters just fine. So in that sense, it's the same. It's just, you know, before they didn't get to choose and now they get to choose. So as long as nobody gets greedy or ego or anything like that in the way, then I think it'll be fine. And they've talked about it, like their relationship, their friendship came number one. They knew that they would never let a man get in between them. And we need more girl power like that. Like we need more women mm -hmm. who are like friendship comes before men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that's the why, you know, this is kind of adding to the theory, though. Like, I agree with you, Blaylee, but this is adding to the theory that they ended up together because they are saying that their relationship <laughs> comes first before any other guys. Now, I want to hear what Rachel has to say about the concern fans and viewers have that their friendship you know could go different ways or it could be you know torn apart they could be compared so let's see what rachel has to say about it yeah i mean we totally get the concern but there was never a point where anything really came in between us like gabby said we always had really open communication with each other and we really would never fall for a guy i think that would ever put us in a position to do so yeah so we that is the line that i love we would never fall for a guy that put us in that position. So if a guy mm -hmm. was pulling another Clayton where he was talking to both of them, being like, oh, I love you. I love you. I'm going to sleep with you. I'm going to sleep with you. They're not going to fall for a guy that's going to do that again. So I feel like they're coming into this with a different approach. And I like how Rachel explains it. And this kind of puts the theories to bed that they're going to, you know, fight or be compared against each other. Um, but we still want drama. We still want a love triangle. Allison, how do you feel about that? I mean, I know I'm the most dramatic one on the panel, but we do want good TV. So sometimes we need a love triangle. Where do you think we're going to get with that? I think we're going to get good TV and it's not going to be the two of them being pitted against each other or fighting over a guy. I mean, we broke down the teaser yesterday, but even that moment mm. of Rachel about to hand that guy a rose and he goes, no, I'm actually here for Gabby. Like, that's drama right there. We've heard lines like he never loved me. Like we're going to get a juicy, juicy season, but hopefully it will be in a way where it is them deciding who's there for the right reasons and who's not. And I think after their season with Clayton, as Rachel said in this interview clip, they're not going to fall for someone who is this back and forth, who can't decide what he wants mm -hmm. because they've been there, done that. So if anything, the drama is going to come from, I guess, a last minute change of heart or them realizing a guy's not there for the right reasons. Like, I think there's still room for drama without it necessarily being, oh my gosh, the two of us are in love with the same person. Yeah, that's fair. And maybe there'll be a love triangle with like two guys and Rachel, kind of like what we see every season with a bachelorette where it's like the final four. It's like, how do you balance all of these relationships? Blakely, are you worried about timing? This has been another concern with a lot of fans. We have two hours most of us don't want four hour mm. episodes because we do want to be able to sleep and eat and do other things with our lives. But we do have a lot to cram in in two hours. How do you think that's going to play out? I think it's going to play out the same way that it's always played out. They're going to figure out a way to make it work. I think a lot of the things are going to be combined. I think we're not I don't believe that we're going to have double the amount of dates or double the amount of X, Y and Z, if you will. I think a lot of things are going to combine the group dates is going to be Rachel and Gabby with the group. Maybe once they dwindle down to smaller groups, when they know like who's for who, they might have a group date just for Gabby and a group date just for Rachel. But I think again, maybe those things will hap happen simultaneously. Like while Rachel's group is out, Gabby's group is out and we're getting the cameras back and forth. 
So I don't really see it being that much of an issue. We're used to two hours. I mean, do we even want two hours? Like maybe we need to spread that out, <laughs> but everybody's going to be sticking with the two hours. We're all excited about the bachelorettes record it and skip through the commercials and we're going to be good to go. Mm. Yeah. I'm like maybe an hour and a half. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I think it'll be fun too. And it'll be different because the first week, what I'm going to picture is they both get a one-on-one -on -one date and then there's a group date with both of them there. And then I think on week two, mm -hmm. there'll be a group date with just Rachel's guys and then a group date with Gabby's guys. So I think they'll mix and match. Now, one other clip I wanted to throw in here from the interview, which is really funny. So pay attention to the words, but Gabby and Rachel are revealing their favorite bachelor from seasons past. So pay close attention here because Rachel gets a little shady. Your favorite bachelor from years past, someone who chewed with his mouth closed, I assume. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Sean Lowe. Sean, okay. Yeah. You? I think Sean as well, but I do have to say Pilot Pete, because you know, the yeah. pilot thing, I feel like we got to stick aviation. together a little bit. He's oh, okay. a little fun for a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> okay, did Blakely, did you hear what she said at the end? No. Allison, did you get it? He's oh. a little fun right over there. Yeah. Okay. okay, so no. basically what she said is she's like, I'm going to go with Pilot Pete, even though he's a little controversial. I think that's mm. a little shady because why even give him the recognition if you're going to call him controversial? He asked what your favorite Bachelor was, right? Or am I, and what do you think about that, Allison? Yeah, I mean, that didn't need to be put in there. She could have just left it with like everyone would have just run with it because of the pilot connection. Like she really didn't mm -hmm. have to justify her decision. And let's be honest, it's kind of a fluff question anyways. Like we want them to find love with new people. No one is really going to get too hung up on it. But yeah, her little phrase in there, it, it, I, maybe there's a, like a little edge and a side of Rachel that we didn't see on Clayton season that is really going to come out this season. I think that would be fun. We love the sass. I Bring it, it again. I, and it is funny and it's lighthearted. And I think a lot of people are, you know, want to see Pilot Pete almost show up on the season because Pilot Rachel, Pilot Pete, like it's kind of a vibe. You know, we know he passed down Paradise, Blakely, but is there any chance he's going to show up or Blake Moynes is going to show up this season? Um, I don't think Blake is going to show up this season just from our talks last month. But we all know how mm -hmm. what I took away from my talk with Michelle and Nate wasn't so much accurate either. But... He said that he is done with the Bachelor franchise, at least for a little bit. Also, if you've been following him, he's been on Instagram. He's been on his um, in environmental animal trips. So I, I, <laughs> I, I don't think Blake Moynes is showing up. I don't think um, Pete's showing up either. It could be good TV. It could be a good little matchup because they're both. The, I don't think he's showing up either, though. He's had too much yeah. negative no, press, I, I feel like, revolving around The Bachelor. Yeah, we might need a little bit of a break. Yeah, just another fluff question at the end. I mean, this was a funny point. I feel like we had to put it in. But Allison, how do you think they did overall as their first interview as Bachelorettes together? I think they're killing it, honestly. I mean, they're kind of on somewhat of a press tour. It's not like back to back to back, but we know they were at CMA Fest too, taking photos mm -hmm. with countless people, kind of being paraded around, if you will, as like the new representatives of this franchise. And I think for your kind of year, when you're announced through your season until the next Bachelorette is announced, it is kind of like almost being like a title holder for like a pageant or something like you are it, mm -hmm. you are the representative and it is on your shoulders. So I think it's really great. I mean, they're doing very well. And I think it's really great that they have each other because it's a daunting task. It's a big schedule. It can be really exhausting. And it's nice that they have someone to like travel with and talk about it with because no one else really knows what it's like unless you've been through it. Yeah, absolutely. And we're really looking forward to seeing how their season turns out. All jokes aside, we are rooting for Rachel and Gabby's love story with two different guys. Double engagements we're hoping to see. So let us know in the comments how excited you guys are for the new season, July 11th. And before you guys head out of here, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and help us get to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm Zachary Reality with Allison Van Dam and Blakely McHugh. Our social media handles are on the screen right now. So be sure to give us a follow, come say hello, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.